time to have some colorful fun as we try our hand at stained glass. Stained glass window is basically um, glass that uh, inherently has color through the use of metal oxides and we cut it up into little pieces and we put it back together with metals to make a stained glass panel or window. The stained part is a bit of a misnomer. Uh, we don't do anything to the glass. It comes this way, it's manufactured this way. Uh, it's colored with metal oxides so it keeps its color for a lifetime. So today we're going to make a stained glass wreath. Uh, how are we going to do this, Tracy? All right, well, there's, there's lots of steps to making a stained glass wreath. We are going to cut some glass and grind it, and then we're going to foil our piece and solder it together and add a little bit of decoration. First, we trace our leaf patterns for our wreath. Then we cut our leaf tracings. After cutting, we break the leaf pattern from the glass. <laughs> <Just there. laughs> Ooh, so now we're going to use this shiny copper foil. Why do we need this, Tracy? Okay, Shulta, we need it because we have to wrap the glass with it, otherwise our glass pieces won't stick together. Now time to melt stuff. Okay, we still have to put it together before we can melt anything. Oh, <laughs> then we have to add some flux to our copper in order for it to melt together with the solder. So now's the time to melt stuff? Now it's time to melt stuff. Yes, yes. <laughs> We add jeweled rocks to our wreath to make it even more beautiful. Look at our beautiful spring wreath, Tracy. We did a pretty good job. It's an excellent job. It looks great. If people want to learn more about how to make stained glass, where should they go? Uh, well, they can come here. We teach lots of classes uh, through Devon Botanical Gardens, City Arts Centre, other places. The best way to search for it would probably be to go to our website at visitglass.com. Perfect. Thank you so much. For Go Edmonton, I'm Troll Kasaski.